Okay, so we're going to the Redlands Temple. This is number 10, actually, for our whole family that we've been visiting. But as far as this road trip goes, it's number five. We're super excited to go. So some fun facts about this temple. One being that it was originally on like an orange, I don't know, grove, but it was orange tree land. When they did the open house, they actually served orange juice to everybody that came through from the oranges that were there originally. I know I say it funny. It's an Ohio thing, right? Maybe. I don't know. Does anybody else say it funny like that? Makes me gag when I have to say it the other way. Orange. The primary kids, or just the children, they donated their pennies for the palm trees to be planted around the temple. So all those palm trees were donated by the children. And this temple is not one of the bigger ones. It's kind of a medium-ish. I don't know. It's the second to smallest. It's not huge. But it serves 70,000 people. That's a lot. Now I'm curious about the other temples, how much they serve. Like Portland, Portland's a pretty big one. We serve a lot. I think this is probably the best part of getting to travel full time, is going to each temple and taking our family with us. Mama, why do you like getting to the temple? Well, I think they're really pretty, and I really like the temple. Ray, why do you think it's important that we or why do you think that we wear our Sunday clothes to, to come to the temple, mm. even though you don't get to go inside? Well, because it's showing that we love him. And why I like going to the temple, it's the only place that my testimony is strong. Mm, so it helped your testimony grow. Do you think maybe we wear our Sunday clothes? Because if, what if you wore your overalls here? What do you normally do in your overalls? Run. Run and climb trees. Do we want to do that at the temple? No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's somewhere where you feel the Holy Spirit. To hear the Holy Spirit and to listen and to pray. For the temple is a house of God, a place of love and beauty. I am going there when I am grown. This is my secret duty. Good job, bud. Maddie, why do you like coming to the temple? Um, or do you? I guess I should ask, do you like coming to the temple? Yes. <laughs> why? Um... <laughs> um, well, one, I like to come here because it helps my testimony grow. Um, two, I like coming here because next year I'll be able to go here. Go what here. is a testimony, Maddie? Um, if you could put it into one sentence to describe it for somebody, what would you say? It's faith in that God exists. That's and, part of it, yeah. Um, Knowing the truth that Heavenly Father does exist and that He does love His children. And that specifically is your testimony and part of many p other people's as well. But a testimony can include so much more, but that is the foundation of it, huh? I love getting to come here with my family and I think it's fun. <laughs> And I think it's cool the experiences that we've gotten to have. <laughs> I think, honestly, there is truth that we really do have a better relationship because we share this, because we make this effort to come. <laughs> yes, right? <laughs> um, uh, why did I put Moroni on the temple in mm -hmm. instead of Jesus Christ? Oh, that's a good question. I think it's because in the end of the Book of Mormon, um, Moroni calls everyone to come to Christ. And so it's calling everyone home, kind of, I think is what it represents. But let's look it up and see. See if we can find it on lds.org, okay? Okay. And if you're curious about any temple, you are able to take tours on the outside if you call ahead. Um, there's always, well, I shouldn't say always, but a lot of temples make it where there's always somebody available that they can give you a tour on the outside because you have to have a temple recommend to be able to go on the inside. But there are also some temples that have visitor centers. So Portland, the, Oregon the has temple. one, LA has one, um, Actually, Oakland has 
Yeah, Oakland yeah. and LA's visitor centers are awesome if you ever get a chance to go. And there's always missionaries there. And also, if you call the um, temple, you can just look it up on Google. Look up LDS Temple, and you can find them on Google. And then the phone numbers are attached on there. You can, um, when you get a hold of somebody, you can ask for missionaries to give you a tour uh, and you can ask any question you want because there's also symbolism on the outside of temples of why they do things the way they do so this is something we do while randall and emma go in to do baptisms together we walk around the temples and take pictures ray's trying to be extra reverent as you can see doing ninja mode <laughs> hard times you know at the end of the day He's still a boy. God gets it. <laughs> and he's cute. So we'll keep him. Every temple you go to, the grounds are gorgeous. One, because it's the house of the Lord. Two, they make it so nice so that, you know, when you're doing ordinances here, like if you're getting your family sealed together, you can have really nice pictures outside. Or if you're getting married here, they always have beautiful water fountains and beautiful uh, foliage. Foliage? Foliage? You know, Randall's not here to help me out. That word, they always make it super nice so that you can have a beautiful scenery. Oh, they have oranges here! What? That is awesome. In the temple grounds, they actually have <laughs> oranges. How cool is that? Did they ever go out and put I would assume. I don't know. That's pretty cool. Well, this one doesn't have a cafeteria, so I don't know. Maybe the temple workers do just get to have uh, snacks, though. Or maybe the since the steak center is right there. Maybe they use the oranges for, like, kind of like the bishop's storehouse. Like, people that or maybe don't they have make oranges. enough money for groceries. The church often helps people out. So, maybe. I don't know. And Moses went to the top of the mount to speak with God. Isn't that cool? Like, the top of the mountain is just cut off by the cloud. That is so neat. at the temple and we couldn't go without a little bit of a bang our car actually died because we were running the movie for the kids while I was in doing initiatories but the missionaries were there and they got to learn how to charge a battery one of them already know but the other one did so he got to learn and now they can go serve other people maybe that way I don't know if they're allowed to if you like this video please subscribe and if you have a favorite temple please leave it in the comments so that we can all share and uh, we'll let you know the next temple we're going to be going to, which will be next week, actually. So stay tuned.